All right, so we're continuing on on our chain wrestling drills here. We did our collar tie to um, ankle pick. Guy pulls his leg back while we have it. Go to our high crotch or a double. We've also done collar tie to go to the ankle pick. He steps it back early. We switch back to a snap and go short offense. Now we're going to go uh, chain wrestling from uh, the front headlock where we try to go for the ankle pick. And we can turn that also into a high crotch or a double just like before. So... Um, again, starting this out with no setup, just so we can kind of see the, the actual process here. Uh, I have my front headlock position, and Tony can have his hands up, or he could be on all fours here. Either way is fine. Uh, I can hit this ankle pick either way. So I'm going to fake like I'm going to the ankle pick, just like before. And Tony, like, you can just choose if you want your hands up or down. Uh, again, going right to here. And if you remember when we were going over the, um, the front headlock ankle pick earlier, I was saying how important it is to keep his head trapped here. If I start letting his head come up while my arm's trapped, he's going to be able to come behind and get a takedown, um, or at the very least, get out. So when I'm ready to let his head slip, I need to kind of pull my weight back and let this, this um, his head pass by so I can get to my shot. And so what I mean by that is I went to attack the ankle. I feel his head start to come out. I need to back up to let his head come out and then reattack to my high crotch position or my double. Um, remember, all that stuff I was saying before, head up, back straight, um, hips in, three feet in a row. Um, that still applies here anytime I'm in on the high crotch or the double. Um, just so you can see from this side, from his head, what I mean by that. Uh, so we're in that front headlock, and again, if his hands are down this time, let's say it's different, I still want ankle pick. I can't keep, let his head stay here trapped under my arm. When I feel him starting to lift, I know he wants out of this, so I need to let that go. I need to pull back just a little bit to let his head go and then re-penetrate to my shot. Now those things can kind of be happening at the same time. I'm doing it really slow right now just to show you guys. But if we're in this front headlock and I start to shoot, and Tony's probably gonna be trying to step this leg back too. It's gonna kind of look more like that, but I need to make sure his head actually gets out. I can't get to his leg without freeing up this arm. If his head is under my arm, it's gonna block me from being able to attack. So. Again, from this side here, hold him, attack. His head starts to come out. As soon as that's coming out, my foot's coming in. And again, we're getting to that angle for my double leg or my high crotch. And we're driving across and getting our finish. Now, again, just uh, we'll, we'll kind of do a more uh, live speed kind of with the setup. If you remember, we did our setup before where I stood him up. He starts to fight forward. I snap him down from headlock. I reach here, he pulls his leg back. 